Giraffe are incredibly understudied for how charismatic and obvious they are in the savanna, but giraffes are a great indicator of the health of the savanna because they're obligate browsers, they only browse the trees and they focus mostly on the acacia trees. And so a healthy giraffe population would tell you that the acacia woodlands are healthy as well. The giraffe are absolutely fascinating creatures and they've captivated uh, humankind the world over. They are the world's tallest animal and they're instantly recognizable. There's no other creature like it on the planet. They have evolved to be that tall to exploit the ecological niche of foraging higher up in the tree canopy than any other browsers. Giraffe browse mostly upon acacia trees. Acacia trees um, have very long spiny thorns as a, as a defense against being browsed upon. But giraffe have overcome that. They have very tough mouths. They have prehensile lips and a very long tongue. Um, which wraps around and strips the leaves off of the acacia trees, or they just pull off the entire shoot and they chew the spines down with their molars. So there's nine different races of giraffe, and scientists are actually looking at the genetic structure right now of these races to determine whether they should actually be considered as different species. All the giraffes in Africa have declined by an estimated 30% in just the last decade alone. So a lot of people don't realize that. They think that giraffes are doing well and that there's, their numbers are fine. They come out on safari and they, they seem to be numerous in the parks. But actually, um, overhunting and habitat conversion has really pushed them to be just confined to the parks now. Usually when we do this kind of work, we have to catch the animal and put some kind of mark on it, like an ear tag or a, uh, a leg band. But these guys, we don't ever have to touch them. We don't disturb them in any way. We just take a picture, write down the age and the sex, if it's a uh, has a calf or not, and we're done. No disturbance. Okay, so after we have taken our survey pictures of the giraffe, we come back and load all the, f all the photographs onto the computer and prepare them for analysis with the pattern recognition software. First thing we have to do is crop all the pictures down so that it's just the side of the animal. So the pattern recognition software can look at each picture and recognize individuals. And this is uh, the photographs from three days of surveys in Terengire. There's a lot of variety in color and shape. In the, in the Maasai giraffe. But all of them are beautiful. Mm. We can do this demographic work, which is absolutely critical to get this basic demographic information so we can figure out what areas they're doing well in and what areas they're not and why. So we can look at certain variables as to why they may not be doing well. Is there a lot of poaching or lion pressure? Is there, are there people around? Is the vegetation different from the areas where they're doing well? Um, and then we can help develop conservation measures that can protect giraffes. So we have Maasai giraffe, uh, for future generations to enjoy.